I feel particularly close to Kate as a character. I really love her as a character for a couple of reasons. Firstly, all around me in my day job in news, I see public officials, many of whom are frequently criticised, trying to do a decent job as the world around them gets ever crazier and more complex and more difficult. But there's another aspect of Kate that I think I only really realise when I look back on it now. When I was writing this novel, I was descending into my own pit, really, I think is the best way of describing it, after the death of my mother and then the decline of my father and his death, um, I had a period of time when I should probably have been taking it a lot easier in life and instead I was working and working and working and taking on more and more things and my wife kept saying to me, are you sure? And I was like, no, no, I'm, you know, I thought I was invincible, I thought I could do everything. Anyway, as it turns out, I'm not the first to discover that I wasn't invincible and I couldn't do everything and I gradually got to the point of uh, total insomnia where I couldn't sleep at all and ended up having to take three months off work. And total insomnia, if you've ever had any kind of insomnia, you'll imagine that total insomnia, which you get, by the way, when you're, you've totally depleted yourself and your physiological mechanisms don't work anymore to the point that you're so wired you can't go to sleep, is a very scary thing because you just don't know if you ever, you know, at one point I thought I was going mad, I thought I was never going to sleep again. Now I'll be talking a little bit about all this in the days and weeks ahead and I'll be trying to put out various things uh, that are designed to help people, to help you if you in any way are suffering from this or you think you're moving in that direction and I want to do more of that as time goes on. But the purpose of today is really just to say when I look at Kate, the character in Secret Service now, I can see my own slightly fevered mindset at work. And so it's quite an odd experience when you feel particularly close to a, to a novel and to a character. And I'm moving on to write, I'm going to write a, a sequel to it. I'm moving on to do that now. And actually, in the next novel, she really has got to the bottom of the pit. And that's an interesting and quite therapeutic experience. But she's a character I really love.